We're going to continue our discussion of different distributions in this video. The beta distribution describes the probability for a process whose outcome is between 0 and 1. It has two parameters, alpha and beta, also known as shape parameters. From a theoretical perspective, it describes the likelihood that any particular value is the true probability of a Bernoulli process based on observations. For example, one may have recently started a job at a new location and recorded that on 5 out of 20 occasions there was a significant delay in the journey to work. Is the probability of delay exactly 25% or could there be some uncertainty around that? While the use of an assumed probability of occurrence of 25% may be adequate for many purposes, it is simply the most likely value. Any probability between 0 and 100% could have produced the observed outcome, with the likelihood that a particular probability is the true one, reducing as one considers values other than 25%. The figure shows the beta distribution that corresponds to the above situation. The x-axis represents the true but unknown probability, and the y-axis is the relative likelihood that such a probability would produce the observed outcomes. In general, when modeling with the Bernoulli, one could use the beta distribution to represent the uncertainty distribution of the probability. The PERT distribution is a special case of a beta distribution. It is governed by three parameters, the minimum, most likely, and maximum, which are the same parameters as a triangular distribution. The main use of the PERT is as a pragmatic alternative to the triangular and beta distributions. It generally can be considered to create a more accurate representation of processes than a triangular distribution. The Poisson distribution describes the probability that a specific discrete number of events occurs within a given time period, where the average number of events per unit time is constant. It has a single parameter gamma, which is the intensity of the process, equal to the average number of events per unit time. The distribution is the continuous time counterpart to a binomial distribution. For example, one may capture the number of times that a car breaks down in a year as binomial of 12 and 5%, corresponding to a 5% chance of a single breakdown each month, and an average of 0.6. Alternatively, a Poisson distribution with its intensity of 0.6 would capture the annual number and may be unbounded, although higher numbers are less likely. The distribution is often used to represent the probability of outcomes for situations such as the number of people arriving in a queue per minute or number of traffic accidents in a town per day. The geometric distribution describes the probability for the number of non-occurrences of a Bernoulli process before the first occurrence. Such non-occurrences may be described in different terms according to the context. For example, the number of periods before a breakdown of a manufacturing facility or of a car. Note that the distribution of waiting time meaning the total number of periods until the first success has happened, is calculated by adding 1 to the value of the distribution. The distribution has a single parameter p, the probability of occurrence at each period. The figure shows the distribution for p equal to 30%. The equations for the density and cumulative functions of this distribution are shown here. We're going to continue this discussion in the next video.